Good morning, children. Today, let's move on to Chemistry Chapter Five, Water Part Three. Learning objective: to know about importance of water. Introduction: Water is an essential and integral component of all living beings. It plays an irreplaceable role in the survival and existence of living organism. It is a basic need of all living organisms. About 70% of human body is composed of water. Water is important for humans in the following ways. Digestion of food in the stomach takes place with the help of water. Blood consisting of water and blood cells absorbs digested food and also helps in transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body. Water helps in excretion of waste from the body in the form of sweat and urine. Water also maintains the body temperature. In summer, we sweat a lot which has a cooling effect. Therefore, an average human should drink 3 to 4 liters of water daily to make up for this loss. About 30% of plant body weight is water. Water is important for plants in the following ways. The large amount of water is needed by plants during photosynthesis. Water helps in transportation of minerals among different parts of the plant body. Water is very important for the germination of seeds. Plants also lose water continuously through their leaves by transpiration. Other uses of water are the large amount of water is used in agriculture. A large amount of water is required in many industries such as chemical industries, paper mills, steel mills, petroleum refineries, fertilizer and rayon industries. Water is also used for producing electricity, that is hydroelectricity, in which the force of falling water that is hydropower is used to produce electricity. Water acts as a coolant in power generation from fossil fuels and nuclear fuels and also in car radiators. Water is used for extinguishing fire, cleaning streets and sanitation. Some people in Kashmir and Kerala live in boats. These boats are called houseboats. Ships, boats and sailboats are used for transporting humans and goods from one place to another. Water is needed for many recreation and sports activities such as swimming, river rafting, boating and water skiing. Now let's move on to questions. Read these questions carefully and write your answers in your chemistry note. For what activities do you require water? What is meant by transpiration? Define hydroelectricity. And four, name the places in which you can find houseboats. And five, write any five uses of water. Thank you, children.